Hello fellow teachers. Uh, in this video we're going to be looking at various settings that you can give to quizzes or tests uh, that might be helpful for you when uh, using your test or quizzes in different ways. So this is the home screen. So the first thing we want to do is go uh, to our theology course or any course that you're teaching. And let me just say by the way the way this video is meant to be used is uh, if this is really kind of new to you watch the video, pause, do it yourself on your own Schoology account, come back, keep going, rewind as needed. That's the, the best way to do this. So we're going to go to materials here. We're going to add a new test or a quiz. And we're going to call this our Tuesday uh, daily quiz. And we're going to say that it's, uh, it's due on Tuesday, August 23rd. We're going to make it worth 15 points and category ungraded. Okay, so the various things, if you have, uh, you should add other categories. You can have graded uh, uh, test or quiz. You can have a separate section for homework, test, final, whatever. Um, so we're going to stick with ungraded for now. And then we're going to create. Now, at this point, you're going to be wanting to add questions in true, false, multiple choice, whatever you'd like to do. You can import from question banks. That's a separate thing. But let's just say you've got your 10 questions set up here. There's, an, there's a lot of choices then that you can make in the settings tab. So click on settings. And the first thing you want to do is give instructions to the kids that might be helpful for them. Like don't cheat or um, you have five minutes for this quiz from the start of the bell. And I'm going to show you how to set it up so that it, it goes that way. Oops, start of the bell, start of the bell. Okay, so we've gotten our instructions for the kids. And then the default setting is that they can't yet do anything with the quiz. So you have to tell what kind of setting you want. Allow attempts means that once you, once you create the quiz, anybody can take it at any time. Allow attempts until means once you create this quiz, once you go down here and quit, hit the save changes button, kids can immediately start taking the quiz and then you can set a closing window. So if I want to say you can take it any time between now and uh, let's say today at uh, 11 59 p.m. or let's say since it's Tuesday the 23rd that's our daily quiz so if you take it any time up until midnight on that Tuesday. Okay that's allow attempts until. My favorite setting is this allow attempts from until so I like to use this for, for daily quizzes. So if this is my, my Tuesday daily quiz, I'm going to say you can start at 8 a.m. and it closes at 8.05. Oops. It start, closes at 8.05. And if they get to the room late, you know, if they're goofing around, if not getting their iPad out and getting down to business, they're losing their quiz time. It closes at 8.05 automatically whether they're done or not. You can also pair it for the end of class. So, you know, you could say 8.40 until 8.45, you know, if you have first period. So a lot of options there. And of course, disable attempts just closes it for everybody. Now, in addition to having time limits, you can also set a, a like a window of opportunity. You can also set a time limit. So let's say that they have a five minute window to take the quiz. By putting a time limit, I'm saying they only have three minutes within that five minute window. So if they start at 841, they go until 844. If they start at 843, it closes at 845. So they only get two minutes. So you can have both timers kind of going simultaneously. And I like to do that. Or if you want to tell them, look, you have to get this done before midnight tonight. So what I've done is I open it at 8.40, they have until midnight, but when they open it at home, they only have three minutes. Now it might be the case that you say, well, I want to give them more than one chance or if they accidentally sign out, so well, I'll give them two attempts on this. If you do more than one attempt, you can take the high score, the last score, or the average score. Um, one of the things, you know, just to give a different idea, in terms of average score, this might be nice, and I like to use this if I if I give them a quiz and I want to reinforce the material. So they take the quiz, they see the answers, they see what they got right or wrong and why, and then they can go back and take it again and actually have the experience of going through and choosing the right answer. That's another possibility. Or you give them the daily quiz 
and then you open it up at night and you take the average score, giving them a chance at home to review the material five, after, five hours after they've heard it from us, so to help get it in their long-term memory. So again, the, the settings can really um, help your teaching and help reinforce things over and over again. Unless there's a reason I want the questions in a specific order, I love to randomize the order of quizzes. It makes it very difficult to look over at your neighbor's iPad and figure out what the heck is going on. Um, language keyboard, we're, we're going with English. Um, question, review. Uh, I think that makes a, a more of a difference um, if you're only letting them see one one question per page, which is the setting here. I like to have a continuous page going, um, so it doesn't matter. Resumable. Now this is the question, can they leave Schoology and go look at another app or not? Generally I put it's not resumable to help prevent cheating. And then submissions. If you put no, all they'll get is a grade. If you put yes, they'll get a grade and they'll see which answers they got right. If you put, I think that's the way it works, and if you put yes with correct answers, they'll see all the right and wrong answers and why. So again, that's, um, that's an option too. So how you set up your quiz makes a big difference in terms of how you can use it as a, as a teaching tool, as a bell ringer, as a reinforcement of, of what the material that they had earlier in the day, lots of wonderful options available. And then you click Save Changes, and your quiz is ready to go. And you go back to your course materials page, and you're all set.